Welcome back everybody to this week's Tutorial Tuesday. This week we're going to take a look at the Peacekeeper. The Peacekeeper is probably the most iconic shotgun in Apex Legends. It can do a lot of damage if you know how to use it. Something you should know right off the bat is the Peacekeeper has a built-in choke. Therefore you can charge up your shot. If you do it will close and tighten that spread, allow you to hit shots from further away and even shots close up for more damage. While well, hip firing with the Peacekeeper can be very deadly, I do recommend that in most situations you're going to want to try and use that choke to get the most out of your shots. Due to that choke, the Peacekeeper probably has the longest range of almost any shotgun in the game. However, most of your shots you want to keep up close and personal as that's where it really excels. When you first start using the Peacekeeper, something that's probably going to frustrate you a little bit is how much the damage varies it can do anywhere from 9 damage on the low end all the way up to around 120 if you hit all of it on the head this can be really frustrating especially in those close gunfights as if you hit for 9 instead of like 50 60 70 it can really really impact those gunfights something that might help a little bit when you're first starting out with the peacekeeper is if you aim for the body more it'll be more consistent of a spread you won't get that high end damage of about 120, but you also won't get those nines as often. It'll be more about 40 to 60 every hit. Then as you get more used to using the Peacekeeper, you can start to aim for the head more often, and then you'll start to hit those 90, 100, 120 damage shots. Something you should definitely take advantage of with the Peacekeeper is with most shotguns in Apex, you don't need to be aiming down sights near as often, which allows you to strafe and move side to side a lot quicker than most weapons use this to your advantage make yourself hard to hit in those gunfights move side to side get those easy shots in the peacekeeper with that choke is also really good at peeking from cover you can peek quick out aim down sights hit them with that shot and then peek quickly back into cover this is really good when you're holding a door or if you're in a gibby bubble or if you're just behind cover and you're peeking out and going back in Speaking of Gibby Bubbles, the Peacekeeper and shotguns in general are one of the few weapons in Apex that strongly dictate who you should play. While the Peacekeeper can be good with almost any legend, it can be exceptional with Gibby when you have that bubble and you can bubble fight. This can be really, really strong. You can go in and out of that bubble, going in and out of cover extremely fast and hitting those huge shots for 90 to 99, 100 and just devastating your enemies. It's also really strong in the hands of Maggie as she can move faster with the Peacekeeper and any shotgun and this really allows her to make the most of that movement. And even like a Bangalore, she can use it in the smoke, especially if she has a Digi threat, and she can really just upend her enemies with that shotgun. Currently for the Peacekeeper, the only hop up in the game is the Kinetic Feeder. While it is nice to have, I don't think it's one of those hop-ups in the game currently that's extremely good or crucial. I would use it if I found it, but it doesn't help a ton. It does decrease that charge-up time when you're sliding and lets you reload a little bit when you're sliding, which is really nice when you're Maggie and you can slide a lot with that extra movement. But besides the reload, if you're not having something to shoot when you're sliding, it's not super helpful. Overall, while I'm not a huge fan of shotguns in general, I think the Peacekeeper is my favorite shotgun in the game at the moment. I think it's the strongest with the amount of damage it can do and how quickly it can do that damage. And I think with the choke, you can do it from the longest range, which gives it a little bit of versatility that the other shotguns don't have. As always, if you enjoyed this week's Tutorial Tuesday, like, subscribe, drop a comment, tell me what you think, and tell me what your favorite shotgun in the game is.